Huh. In ascending order. All right, descending order. Okay, yeah. Away with the tower shield. Wait, is your great sword better than yep? There we go. Okay then. I hope I went the right way. I'm hungry. When we stop. Uh yeah, let's do that. Resting is good because being alive is a good idea. Ah! Oleg's trading post! No stopping now. What? Bakken, where the fuck are you going? Bandits! In the name of the Stag Lord, the haha -ha, lawful authority in the stolen lands, we demand this week's tax and some beer. And where's that pretty wife of your Oleg? She should serve us dinner. Quiet down, dimwit. Oleg, we're just here for the Stag Lord's tax. Hand over the money and we'll be on our way. You want to drink some of my blood too? I'm sick of you. You're like locusts. You think you control everything around here just because you put up that painted rag of yours? You come here, squeeze us dry, and come... Come, a Oleg, a large man, with a rough face, stops talking when he notices you. Ah, you must be the guests from Restov. Yeah, that'll work. The woman smiles coldly. Alright, we'll leave. But what makes you think we won't just return with greater numbers? Why would we leave when we've got easy pickings from Restov before us? We'll rip out your guts and empty your pockets. It it would seem that they aren't very... Oh. What? I don't understand. All of you are fucking worthless. There we go. It is done. I'm gonna go loot your shit before I talk to you real quick. Yeah, I know. Whatever. Potatoes. Take that, you scoundrels! Oleg shakes his fist. But now! He scratches his head and stares at the ground gloomily. The girl got away. A plague on her. She's certain to complain to the stag lord. They came before to collect taxes. But this time they'll come to punish treason. Now what are we to do? He sighs heavily. If only I could send Svetlana somewhere safe and show those rats what's what! He notices a fair-haired woman approach. Dove, what are you, why are you here? I told you to stay hidden. It's all over, I saw it. I just needed to be sure you were all right. The woman looks at her husband tenderly, if with a hint of sorrow. Oleg mumbles something as he looks away, embarrassed. My name is Svetlana. I'm sorry, your arrival to our trading post turned out so... I'm sorry your arrival to our trading post turned out so unwelcoming. 
Tell me more. Old Lake shifts uncomfortably. Surely there are more important things to discuss. Well, all right. We're just honest people who came here from Restav. We fixed up the old fort to house travelers and give merchants to a place to trade or give merchants a place to trade with the locals. We also deal with the occasional huntsmen in the area. What does any of this matter? When those bandits came back, they'll either come back, they'll either drain us or dr just kill us. That must have been Bakken. He sells potions. He lives out in the forest like a hermit, but he comes here every day. He knows every tree and bush in the area and how they can help you. The Stag Lord's gang wants him to work for them. He lacks the courage to fight those bandits, but he won't just walk away from us. He has a good heart, even if he grumbles a lot, especially recently. Let's get to the point. You say bandits are going to attack again? Who are they and when will they arrive? Oleg waves his hand sullenly. Who are they? They're the Stag Lord's gang, that's who. The lands team with bandits like bedbugs in a beggar's hut. And you just stirred them up. They have a camp not far from here. I expect they'll return in full force in half a day, maybe less. The Stag Lord won't take an insult like this lightly, and his henchmen are, like, are more like demons than men. Tell me as much as you know. How many bandits are there? What do they want? What do they want? Those bloodsuckers think they own this land. They come, take what they want, and steal the better part of our money every month as a toll for their leader. They even broke our gates so we couldn't try to hide anything from them. No one knows how exactly how many there are. Sometimes only five or six come. Sometimes it's a whole gang. I'd have shown them what for long ago if not for Svetlana. For the Stag Lord and his cronies, of course. That Stag Lord fancies himself a king in these parts. He may have antlers for a crown, but all the troublemakers around here are happy to follow his orders as long as they're paid. So they, so they charge an arm and a leg as taxes, and they call their executions punishment for treason. Even those who never swore allegiance to the Stag Lord. They're killed fast if they're lucky, if not. Dove, why don't you go get supper started while we finish our talk? I've no need to be protected from dark talk. I'm not some blind kitten, you know. I've seen what they do to people. Most of the gang is made up of simple bandits, but there are a few monsters among the leadership, especially those close to the Stag Lord. Ox and Dovin from Nish... Nisrock come to mind. They like to make a show of their torches and executions. My hus husband and I, we saw the bodies. Yeah, sure. I never back down from a good fight. Well, thanks, I guess. I might even be able to scrape up some sort of reward together for you... Some... Whatever. Fuck. I keep fucking that up. Yeah, definitely. Perfect. Oh yeah, I still have to sell my shit. So I stop being over encumbered. Mm -hmm. Uh, more persuasion could be useful. Sure. Thing is, I don't want to take a weapon focus this early.
Ah. That seems highly useful. Holy fuck, minus 10 athletics. I'm gonna have to fix that. God damn it. Ah, uh, fuck it. Uh, let's see. What else can I learn here? Light crossbow, I believe. I don't think I have a heavy crossbow. So I can't give her that. Hmm. Ra <laughs> Hmm. Sure. Why not? That seems useful. Barbarian!